Hello. Um, this is just a short video I'm going to do just to compare this uh, cell, this 8 cell, uh, with its standard configuration as is now, which is positive, negative, positive, negative all the way through. And um, I'm going to check the amps and the volts. And then I'm going to rewire, rewire it just quickly to uh, add in neutral plates. So it'll be positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral. Um, just visually, just to see what kind of difference there is. Uh, I'll redo this test again in the future uh, once I have a seal and um, so that I can use a bubbler to check it properly. But this is just a visual check. Okay, right now we're on 1173 volts and 10 amps. And that's what it's looking like. You'll notice when I turn this off, because it's not running on a charger, oops, this connection, that uh, volts will go straight back up once the unit's turned off. And if I was to take the multimeter and check straight off the plate, you notice too, after the power's been disconnected, if I check the voltage straight off the plate, there's still a residual charge. So there's one volt and dropping. If I left the uh, cell on for longer, you would have a much uh, a higher charge, maybe two volts, one and a half volts, and it would last for longer before it started to drop down. But as you can see, there is zero amps and the, the power is not on. That is just the voltage coming straight off the plate. Okay, now the cell is um, wired up, starting over here, we've got uh, well, it's basically positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, all the way across. Now we're going to flip it on. There's not much going on, but then again, there's not much amps being pulled either, only about one and a half, two amps. The voltage is barely dropped. This is in the water that I was just using on the other configuration, which was um, pulling uh, 10 amps. So what I'm going to try and do now is add some more electrical and try and get it back up to 10 amps and see how how it performs. Okay, now it's starting to go up. Four amps. The voltage is starting to drop. The cell's putting off some more now. We're pulling just under five amps. It's about four amps. So obviously we need quite a lot more electrolyte with this setup. You might have to um, make the space between the plates closer in order for this to work properly. Okay, pushing just over six amps. And that's actually putting off quite a bit. It's not a bad reaction. Okay, I've just added some more electrolyte, so I'm going to try again. That's putting out quite a bit. And we're now running actually at about 11 amps, which is a tiny bit over what I was doing before, but close. Now we're running at 11.6 volts. I need to look back and compare this to uh, how it was looking before, but I think this definitely justifies doing a bubble test as soon as I've got a container that's capable of doing it. Stay tuned.